This is a Western Digital WD SN550 SSD drive that's been mailed into Zero Alpha for data recovery because it stopped working. This one's actually the SN550E variant, which means it's from an enclosure, but they can come in laptops and all types of products. It's a very common product on the mail because it's very cheap and consumers love cheap, low quality products. The downside is it does have a high failure rate and the most common problem we see is suddenly they don't detect anymore. If you look at this chip down here, it's powered by a SanDisk controller, the 20-82-10023-A1. And this power management chip is also common. It is the 90430VM330. Let's fix this one up. Look, I'm just repairing some faulty components around here. And then I'm going to show you guys the test points on what you should get to read so you can help diagnose these yourselves. So this SSD has been fully repaired. So let's show you what all the correct test points should be. Down here we got our 2.5 volts. We come up here, we get 3.3 ground. 0 0.8 ground. 0 0.8. 0 0.8 ground, 0 0.8. This one, 3.2 ground. Down here, I think is ground, but we got our 3.3 volts here. Now up to here, and we've got our ground and our two, sorry, 1.2 volts. 1.2. Here we've got 3.3 and ground. Here we've got 1.2 volts. Now up here with our memory chip, our NAND chip, we're going to have ground on this side, ground on this side. 2.5 volts, 1.2 volts. If you need data recovery from a Western Digital WD SSD that's not working, visit zeroalpha.com.au and we will get your data back at the lowest price. You can drop off anywhere in Australia or mail in from anywhere in the world.